was really interested in learning how to use genetics to study stem cells because I knew that no matter what kind of experiments I was doing, it would be leading me towards understanding this process of stem cell renewal. And uh, that's the cool thing about genetics. You don't know what kind of molecules your screens are going to uncover, but you know that if you set up the question right, you're going to be answering a given question about what cells are doing in a tissue. So for us, um, we've learned a lot about stem cells by studying a particular signaling pathway, but um, that's just because that's what the genetics showed us, and we didn't seek to understand a particular molecule. Instead, we wanted to understand how the cells were functioning in their tissue. Since I began using this system quite a while ago, um, there's been a huge explosion in the interest in stem cells because um, now they can be isolated um, from so many different tissues and even induced to form from a skin biopsy. And so there's a tremendous amount of interest in understanding how to use these cells therapeutically. But at the same time, there's a growing interest in being able to understand what they do in their normal tissues. And what we do is that's the strength of our system, is to be able to study these cells in their completely natural environment, in the, in the whole tissue, and manipulate them genetically to see how they really work. So we have, um, in a sense, a, a stem cell niche model that people that work in many more complicated systems turn to when they want to understand the basics of how stem cells might be operating in their tissue of interest.